The Jews don't want anyone to know what really happened. But there's a book that you must read called The Thirteenth Tribe. It was written by a very famous Jewish historian and scholar by the name of Arthur Kostler. And he described a, a, a number of letters written between the black or the Sephardic Jews living in Spain and those in Russia who were living in the land of Hazan, of the tribes of the Ashkenaz. That's why when you ask Jews today, do you know what this word Ashkenaz means? They say, yes, that means European. It's a word that relates to our history, the Ashkenaz Jews. But when you read the Bible, the tribe of the Ashkenaz came from Japheth, the Gentile tribe. It's not from Sham. Read the sixth chapter of Genesis. When the Bible describes each of the sons of Noah. The Ashkenazes were Japheth, who had no inheritance biologically from Abraham. When God said to Abraham, I'm going to bless you and your seed, it didn't include Japheth. And Arthur Kostler in his book, The Thirteenth Tribe, described that in 740 A.D., in the land of Havan, during the reign of King Baloo, the Muslims and the Christians were pressuring King Baloo to convert to their respective religions. King Baloo recognized as a skilled politician, if he became a Muslim, then the Christians would attack him. If he became a Christian, then the Muslims would attack him. So King Baloo declared himself to be a follower of Judaism. And the whole kingdom of 250,000 people became Jews. And they looked just like the European and Eastern European. They looked like Menach and Begin and Golda Meir. They looked like all the white Jews that you see in the United States and South Africa and in Europe because that is their relatives. And those one or two million black Jews who descended from Solomon and David, we know where they are in Israel. But the white Jews took over Judaism. And they are the ones who are saying, we want Jerusalem. We want Samaria. We want the Arab land. And they say, when you ask them, why do you want them? They say, God gave it to us. That's a lie. God didn't give Japheth anything. Japheth was not included in the covenant. Only the children of Sham, the children of Abraham. And we know what they look like. No one wants this truth to be heard. Because it makes it difficult to start saying, Israel is ours, we must protect our land that God gave us. God gave you nothing. God gave the land to the children of Ishmael and the children of Yaakov or Jacob. Read the Jewish Bible. The children from Poland and Russia were promised nothing. But they are stealing the land the same as the Christians stole the land from the Indians in America, the Indians in Latin America, stole the lands of India, China, stole the lands of the Third World with distortion, and the lands in South Africa, with lies and distortions. We were here first. No one was here to please. No lies. You can walk over the land. I don't have to ask who is here first. The land speaks to me. When I walk on this land, the vibrations come to my soul and say, my son, you are home. This is my land. The land of my people. The land that Allah has given. And we must respect Allah and respect his wish. So today the Palestinians are being brutalized like savages. While people are talking about God and, and praying at the Wailing Wall and killing children, many of the men are trying to work just to
get enough to send to the family to live, the university shut down. If you protest, you go to jail, you may be killed. And they say we're the only democratic country in the Middle East. And they base it, they keep telling the Christians, we don't want to do this. God is making us do it. Because he gave us this land. They are lying on God. But God is going to handle that. There's nothing that I can do. But I know you're not going to lie on God too long and get away with it. No one has done it. When you look at any religion in the history, you lie on God, you got a problem. 